time is currently 11.47 and I've officially finished my first year of degree. We did it. Okay, Assalamualaikum and hi guys, this is Faiz. The clip you just saw was just a few moments after I finished and submitted my last final assessment for this semester. Yes! <gasps> Anyways, I guess I'm a full-time weeb now. As the title suggests, I'd like to share a little bit about my experience as a chemistry student in IIUM, Kuantan. Let's get started with the first semester. <laughs> Going to IIUM wasn't actually uh, my intention and I was quite hesitant when it became my last option seeing as I don't have SPM. The, the public universities didn't accept me because of that mandatory requirement, hence I, I, I was left with IIUM. I wouldn't say I was really motivated to go but it is what it is. I, you know, you just gotta you just gotta make through with whatever God has given you, you know? Fast forward to the first couple of weeks, I didn't have that many friends. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it. I, I was having a hard time in that thing with the environment, especially with uh, just trying to get to know people, you know? My classmates, they already known each other to some extent uh, because they share the same uh, foundation course. Though I consider myself as someone who adapts fairly, fairly well in any given situation, Alhamdulillah, I wanted to take a step further. And that's where I joined a couple different clubs. This one club where it really resonated with me was the Karate Club. I can firmly say that Karate Club was my home. It is where I found a lot of individuals who shared the same interests as me. <laughs> Anime and a lot of, you know, yeah, anyway, basically anyway. And yeah, if you're a weeb, and you know that I'm a weeb, let's be friends. Disgusting weeb. They, they were really supportive, the seniors were really nice and kind. It just felt fun talking to them and going to the dojos and stuff. But yeah, I can say that Karate Club helped me a lot in trying to get used to the environment and, you know, just learn about how things work in the university. It was all very alien to me, so I was thankful that I had such amazing seniors and friends who supported me really until now. In terms of chemistry, the class itself, uh, pretty much semester one wasn't that difficult. Most of the topics I learned uh, were already covered in uh, IB chemistry, though some topics were getting a little bit harder, such as, you know, mechanisms, you know, gotta study all hexagons and all of that jazz. Yeah, but still, I, I love chemistry, but it's okay. Labs, however, it can be fun, and I certainly enjoyed some of them, but lab reports are just... <laughs> yeah, lab reports were tiring, I, uh, but you know, you just gotta have to do what you signed up for, and you know, it's, it's a part of what chemistry is really all, all about. Anything in the scientific field, really, you just gotta you know, just gotta do it. it. It took me a couple couple of months to get used to uh, my classmates. I, probably because we don't share a lot of things in common, so it was hard for me to talk about something that is not chemistry related or university related. So that, that was kind of underwhelming, but uh, we, we get along pretty well now. So I'm, I'm really glad. I'm glad. I was really active in semester one. I was involved with a lot of different activities. It was fun engaging with people, you know, and trying to you know, be, be useful in, in the community. It's something that I admired. What else? Uh, exams, yeah. They weren't, weren't as difficult as uh, what, how I thought it would have been. Of course, I can't do all of this without the help of my seniors. So, arigato gozaimasu, senpai, and all those people that have helped me in getting the grades that I've gotten. Uh, for that semester, so I'm really thankful. From the bottom of my heart, thank you very much. Yeah. Semester two! Well, the subjects were definitely quite easier than uh, semester one on, on the first glance. We had computer science, programming, and analytical chemistry, more physics, physical chemistry. It seemed like it would be less challenging 
compared to semester one. Despite the subjects being uh, easier on the first glance compared to the subjects in the first semester, my schedule was quite packed because I was the head for the academic bureau for our Kulia based society sciences. That's where I had to you know, be involved with a lot of different activities, not just to conduct and write. I had to also communicate with a lot of different people. Me and the training and education team, thankfully I got a lot of uh, experience in trying to conduct programs in university. You know, you learn about different sort of formats and how, how things work, why they work the way they do. And it sort of just gave me a lot of different insights about uh, university again. One of the remarkable things I did in semester two was probably being the master of ceremony for the Pahang Chemistry Carnival. It was quite a big event. We, were, we had practice and stuff, so that was pretty fun. Not only that, I also joined an open tournament for karate, which was quite blasphemous. <laughs> it was a crazy experience, and this was mainly because I was my first match, it was against a Sukma player. Basically, I got beat up. <laughs> I saw the gap between our abilities, of course, and, uh, and experiences. It was crazy. It was crazy huge. Uh, I got a medal though, so that, that was really cool. Later on, I also played volleyball and basketball with my Kulia, with a lot of different friends uh, in the same Kulia, and my roommates as well. And that was pretty fun. It was, again, a lot of a lot of these moments just sort of enhance my relationship with seniors because uh, I think sports is one of the ways where you can bond with them. And then COVID-19 came along. We all know what happened and the rest is history. Ever since March, uh, the lockdown came around and you know everyone had to go back. I was stuck in Kuantan for quite a bit before I uh, got back into Malacca. I didn't do much other than watching more anime and, you know, sleep and eat. And finally, we came to the online learning period. As soon as IIUM decided to start the emergency remote teaching and learning, basically online learning, it was a nightmare from there on. I love chemistry. Initially, I thought it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad because I found it comfortable to be studying at my own pace with, you know, just slides and doing a couple of assignments here and there. But it gradually became much of a heavier burden uh, for me. And I feel like a lot of my friends resonated with this as well. Especially chemistry, you've got, you know, it's a subject where a lot of the learning materials are, are learned through the practicality of the subject which, you know, you have to go to labs and stuff. But, you know, we can't do that because social distancing and, you know, we want to reduce COVID cases. You know, I, I had to stay as strong-willed as I can be in order to go through this and slow, slowly, slowly finishing the assignments and assessments with my friends. One of the hardest things uh, about online learning is definitely in, in the difficulties that both groups have to experience both teachers and students, the availability to, to conduct classes. Because sometimes people aren't too convenient uh, due to internet connection or the commitment at home, you know, especially when you, when you have a hard time in understanding uh, topics such as uh, material equilibrium or, or real gases or... I love chemistry. You know, thermodynamic functions and all that jazz. It was, it was really difficult, especially for physical chemistry, analytical chemistry as well. Uh, it was definitely hard trying to understand the, the sort of methods. So hopefully, 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 next year, we can have face-to-face -face learning. Inshallah. So yeah, um, my plans after I finish this semester, I think I'll just be spending a lot of my time trying to do things like drawing, watching more anime, trying to record a couple of new videos. Speaking of videos, me and my friends, we started a project called Explore Rockers. And this is a medium where we wanted to share our experiences with like-minded individuals about, uh, it could be educational stuff and vlogs and travels, all that jazz. And please guys, do check it out. I will put the link in the description below and Stay tuned for more interesting videos from us.
the Explore Rockers team. And yeah, I think that's all for me as an, the overview for my experience as a chemistry student in IIUM. And yeah, I guess I'll sign off for now and see you later. I, I love chemistry, but it's okay.